Hey everybody, how you doing today? Welcome to Will's Treasures. Thanks for stopping by and spending some time with me. We are down at the pouring station today and we are going to be pouring some copper. We have some pretty cool pieces we're going to be making today. So sit back, relax. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments. I've been pouring copper for a few years now. I really enjoy it, even though I do make pieces out of silver also. But the price point for many people to own a nice piece of art with the silver, you know, it gets a little expensive. So I love making copper pieces and uh, antiquing them when I'm done. I have a beautiful final project. So we're going to be sand casting some pieces today. I've never seen that done. Stick around. It's a pretty cool process. Like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel if this interests you. And I'm sure it does because you clicked on it. Um, I'm going to start out with this pretty cool, uh, it's a baby dragon. And it's got some flowers around it and stuff. It's a pretty cool pattern. That's what we're going to start out with. Put some parting powder on there. Press her down. Now I'm going to press this down even further. I have a little press off to the side here, so you're actually not going to see this process but you'll hear it this just ensures that I have the pattern pressed very nicely into the sand and I'll show you there it is it's pressed into the sand looking good some more nice I like using a rolling pin it makes sure that the entire cavity is filled with the sand that's what you want feel free to go back and check my other videos I have many Many videos on pouring. All right, there's the pattern. Looks good. Now we're gonna get a little sprue action going. Very important that you take your time making the sprue. 
this is where the metal is going to flow into your pattern. So you want to make sure that you have it done right. Get a few vent lines. This is going to make sure that the air and gases get pushed out of the pattern so it fills with the copper. nothing obstructing your piece do this just a little little deeper You always want to check when you put it together, make sure that you have a nice place that the metal is going to flow into. Super important. First one done, the metal's heating up. We're gonna get a couple of these going before we pour. So we don't waste no time. All right, what are we gonna do next? We gotta do this heart with wings. Get that pressed in there nice.
good. Sprue line in here. Vent lines. Looking good. Thumbs are up. And we'll check. There we go. Looking good in there. That one is ready to go. Let me check on the metal real quick. Looking good. Put in a few more pieces. Let's get this one going. And yeah, make sure you hit that like button. It definitely helps with the Facebook algorithm. Let's more people see my video, which is greatly appreciated. I'm not really into the big cutting and editing, all that stuff. I do my videos one shot, one take, good or bad. It is what it is, and if I make mistakes, they're going to be on the video. That's how people learn. You can see the mistakes that I make, and hopefully not make them yourself. Oh, need a little more. What are we going to do next? I think, I think we're going to do this piece here. This is a very cool dragon. Lots of detail on this. And it's actually a, it's a tough piece to make because of all the detail. The, uh, you know, finishing this piece, I've done it before and there's just a lot of nooks and crannies to get done. So, we're gonna give it our best. Which way we're gonna do it? I'm going to come in just like that. 
this one I have to put in the press. So this will only take a minute. Sorry about the shaky camera. Okay. So you've been pressed in there. Now let's feel the other side. Open. It's being a little, a little stubborn. There we go. All right, looking good. Screw line in there. Get some vent lines. good this one sealed up uh, we'll pour these three pieces now Heat up the and see the moisture in the metal. You always want to heat up your flasks or your graphite molds. Very important.
a lot of moisture in this one. Now, if you don't heat these up, you're risking a steam explosion. And that's when little molten balls of metal will just pop out like popcorn and hit you or burn something. So you want to be careful. It only takes a minute to heat them up. Plenty of metal for the next pour. I'm going to let this cool off a minute. Let these cool off a minute and then we'll pop them out and see what we got. They're cooling down nicely. Nice red hotness going there. Copper cools down pretty quick. Give them another minute. Get my tools. Real important to have ventilation where you're working. I have a fan right off to my right here. It sucks out all the smoke and the smells. Look at that. Looking good right there. Part with the wings. Get a little quench action going. That's a beauty. That's going to finish up real nice. Look at that. Nice baby dragon with the flowers around it. 
Tons of detail. Quench her off, we'll take another look at it. Look at that. Boy, that's gonna be beautiful once it's done. If it looks good straight out of the, uh, when you pour, when you finish it up, it's gonna look spectacular. Last but not least, some smoky goodness on this one. of detail. Quench her off. Get a better look. Look at that. Yeah, that's going to clean up really nice. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel for more pouring videos. This is Will from Will's Treasures. I will catch you guys on the next video.